Hi, this is your instructor Ahesis and in this lecture I will teach you how to create a color picker application in Android Studio using Java. So quickly let's check it out. So right now I just have to hit on the image. Can you see that? When I hit on the image it extracts the color of that image and display the value. Can you see that? So when I do something like this, it extracts it and then display the hex values and the RGB values of that um, particular color that is being touched or picked. Can you see that? So with this, you will be able to build your own color application so that when you are developing your apps, it makes it more easier for you to check out the colors of your choice and make use of the RGB value or the hex value. This will help you speed up your project so that you don't go out looking for colors. When you have something like this, anytime you want a color, you just come here and then you pick some. This is it for now and if you're watching, do well by smashing the subscribe button and most importantly, hit the notification bell so that you will be the first to receive newer content from Ahesis. Alright, the link to the source code of this course is in the description below. So, um, check it out if you wish to and see you in this course. Let's jump into it. Haven't seen the demo application in Hydroworks? Quickly, let's get started with the application. Alright, so here on start a new Android Studio project. Select empty activity. Hit on next. Specify the name of your project right here. So I'm going to call it Color Pickers. Hit on your finish button. Android Studio is building up. Android Studio is done building. So let's proceed. The first thing we're going to do right here is to make the necessary imports. Now minimize the Android Studio. This is the color image we are going to use in this course. So right click on it, copy, go back to your Android Studio, click on res, right click on your drawable, paste. Make sure to select the first option. OK, OK. Open it up and then this is the image right here. Close it down. Go back to activitymain.xml, stretch it to the left, stretch it down hit on test right here we will proceed with the design get rid of the test view because we don't need it and then get rid of the constraint layout because we don't also need it get rid of the constraint layout and then all we need right here is a linear layout first we need an image view to display the color image the layout width would be 400 dp the layout height will be 350 dp. Now we have to display the image. So I'm going to do SRC, add, drawable, slash, color picker. Now we have to specify the ID of this image view. We're going to call it color picker. Hit on your forward slash on your keyboard to close it up. Next, we need a test view to display the RGB value and the hex value of the picked color. Test view. It will have the layout width of wrap content. Layout height of wrap content. Let's specify the ID of this test view. ID. Add plus ID slash. We are going to call it display values. The layout gravity. We are going to make it center. Test size 24xp. Test. We will use it to display the hex value and the RGB value. Right here, the hex value will be displayed. Now, to display the RGB value, we have to introduce the backslash n that will help create a new line. Backslash n and then RGB column. Hit on your forward slash to close it up. Scroll up and let me show you. Right here, we have to specify the orientation property of this linear layout. Vertical. Lastly, we need a view to display the touched color. 
it will have the layout width of match parent and then the layout height of 250 dp hit on your forward slash to close it up and then right here we have to specify the id of this view id at plus id slash we would call it display color perfect so having done all this let's touch down to the main activity.java to carry out the implementation of our code this is it right here the first thing we're going to do right here is to define our views right in the class scope i'm going to do image view this is it right here hit on your enter key on your keyboard to pick it up and then i'm going to call it img view semicolon to terminate it we have a test view test view and i'm going to call it m color values semicolon to terminate it lastly we have view and i'm going to call it m color show semicolon to terminate it alternate enter on your keyboard to import view so before we proceed i want you to take note of the convention i used in naming these variables it is called the car markings it implies that you capitalize the first letter of every word except for the first word all right beautiful now we have to initialize these views in onCreate method so right here i'm going to do img view equal find view by id arrow dot id dot so we are going to reference the id of the image view we have to go back and check it out uh, this is the image we are here the id is color picker i just have to come here and then dot color pickers semicolon to terminate it next m color values equal find view by id arrow dot id dot display values semicolon to terminate it and lastly m color show equal find view by id r dot id dot display color semicolon to terminate it so next we have to define a bitmap object reference right here bitmap i'm gonna call it bitmap semicolon to terminate it so right in the onCreate method i'm gonna do img view dot set drawn catch enabled we are going to set it to true and also i'm going to do img view dot build drawing cage i'm going to set it to true so next we have to set the image view on touch listener so right here i'm going to do img view dot set on click listener get rid of this and then so right here i'm going to do if event dot get action equal motion event dot action down event dot get action equal motion event dot action move open up your curly bracket and then close your curly bracket so right here i'm gonna do bitmap equal img view dot get drawn cage semicolon to terminate it so right here i'm gonna do int pixel equal bitmap dot get pixel so right here i'm gonna have another parenthesis right inside this parenthesis and um int outside this we're gonna do event dot get x all right comma another parenthesis int outside the parenthesis we're gonna have event dot get y semicolon to terminate it haven't done this we have to extract the rgb value of the color that is being touched so right here we are going to do int r echo color dot red passing pixel semicolon to terminate it i just have to copy this guy right here ctrl c to copy ctrl v to paste ctrl v to paste 
here is going to be G and then we have to change this to green and right here is going to be B come right here then change it to blue perfect string um, hex all right equal outside it I'm going to do plus integer dot dot to hex string and then pass in pixel semicolon to terminate it now we are done getting the values we have to display them to the users all right so right here i'm going to do m color show dot set background color and um we're going to have color dot rgb and then we're going to have r comma g comma b beautiful this will help display the color of the image when touched lastly we also have to display the values of the specific color that is being touched to do that we have to use the test view so i'm going to do m color values dot set test rgb colon we have r comma We have G comma and then we have B. Alright, so this will display the RGB value. And take note, we are using the same test view to display both the hex value and the RGB value. So for that, we have to create a new line in order to display the hex value. Now I'm gonna do backslash N. Alright, so I'm gonna do hex and then colon plus so lastly we are going to return true beautiful now let's run our application to see what we have on board so you just have to hit on the play button all right so let's check it out can you see that? Beautiful. <laughs> I like this. So if you're watching, do well to smash the subscribe button right now. Hit the notification bell so that when we upload new tutorials, you will be notified. Take care.